The field of the Shanghai Rolex Masters was whittled down to just eight players on Thursday with some intriguing results along the way. Top seed Rafa Nadal faced German Florian Meyer for the first time with the world number 23 enjoying his best season to date. Meyer had already recorded two straight sets wins here and he was equal to the Spaniard in a high quality opening set. Now oh, that's awfully good because Nadal was not too far from that ball. Facing set points against him in a 10 minute game, Nadal has ever brought out his very best to thwart the 28 year old. What a point! But the man with just one tour title to his name overturned a 4-2 deficit in a tiebreak. What a way to seal the best set of the week and one of the best sets of tennis that Florian Meyer will have ever played throughout the course of his career. And his high level of play continued in the second. Oh, come on! Visibly growing in confidence, the Bucharest champion faced no break points in the match and made his move at the right time in the set. Oh, just too much pace. Well, it's an incredible game again from Maya. After an hour and 48 minutes, he reached the last eight of a Masters 1000 for the second time, notching up a famous win. He's done it! It's one to remember in the rocking chair years from now. For sure the biggest win in my career. Um, yeah, it feels really nice. I cannot actually believe it right now. But um, yeah, the tournament goes on tomorrow, so I have to stay focused for the rest of the week. Second seed Andy Murray enjoyed a walkover in round two and took to the court for the first time since lifting the trophy 12 months ago against Swiss number two Stan Wawrinka. Murray was the victim when the 13th seed last beat a top five opponent at the US Open in 2010, but a repeat looked unlikely as he calmly negotiated the opening set. I like that, coming in, showing some variety, beautifully done. That'll do nicely. There are no secrets between the pair who have met nine times previously, and soon Vavrinka had repeated the feat of his opening two matches by leveling in the second set. Nothing wrong with that backhand volley. Despite ultimately struggling to close out the match, Murray, looking for a dozen consecutive wins, raced to a five-love lead in the decider. World class. Pedal to the metal right now for Murray. After two hours and 11 minutes, Murray had posted his 30th hardcore win of the year. Victory for Murray. Did it the hard way. Forced to play indoors due to torrential rain all day, world number 124 Matthew Ebden earned the right to tackle Murray for a place in the semis at just his fourth Masters 1000 tournament after he outlasted eight seed Gilles Simon. Continuing his rise up the rankings, Japan's Kei Nishikori put in a gritty display over Santiago Giraldo to set up a tie with Alex Delgopolov in a first Masters 1000 quarterfinal for both men. Andy Roddick turned in a polished performance to remove seventh seed Nicolas Almagro in straight sets to put a dent in his hopes of qualifying for the year-end finals. Roddick faced no break points to reach his first Masters 1000 quarterfinal of 2011. He will face the third seed David Ferrer, who became the fifth man to book his spot in the top eight showpiece in London after he fought back from a punishing first set, saving three match points along the way against compatriot Juan Carlos Ferrero. Confirmation that Ferrer cannot be overtaken in the race for points qualifying for the second year running and third time overall. Just three spots now remain for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals.